Hey everybody, this is Dab Guy, demonstrating another game of Optimal Yahtzee. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I hope there's some tough choices to be made and I make the optimal choices. And I'll explain my thought process as I do that. Maybe it'll help you improve your game. So let's get started. Uh, first roll. This is interesting, I've got two things here. i got the pair of threes. I've also got a small straight, a one, two, three, four. If this were a pair of twos and a small straight, I would take the small straight. But because it's a pair of threes or higher, you take the pair of threes. On the second roll, I get a full house. Now on the first roll, I never take a full house. On the third roll, I pretty much always take a full house. And on the second roll, it depends. It depends on the three of a kind here, in this case the threes. If that's a three or lower, you take the full house. Also, if the three of a kind is already filled in on the upper section, you take the full house. So, because these are threes or lower, threes over ones, scoring is a full house right now. Not even going to take that third roll. Alright, got the threes again, so that didn't cost me anything. Right back in business on the threes. And I just end up with three of them, but that's okay. Uh, to get the upper section bonus, you need to get three of a kind on each of these on average. So, if you miss out on a four or something, you can make it up by rolling a five or six. And so three threes pu puts me right on pace to get the upper section bonus, which is an important thing. Uh, it's a good steady 35 points. You get it almost every game if you if you work hard on the upper section. Okay, three ones. If this were only two ones, I wouldn't take it. But because it's three ones, you got to take that. Uh, usually hoping to get a full house or a Yahtzee. I've already got the full house. So it's kind of a long shot. I'm going to Yahtzee here. It's probably end up going on the ones. Oh, second roll got exactly the same thing as the first roll. Yeah, I just end up scoring that on the ones. So, uh, not uh, not really happy about that. I like to keep ones open as a second chance. So if you get one bad roll, you can put on chance. If you get two bad rolls, you can scratch the uh, ones or, or put a one up here. It doesn't cost you that much. But this actually worked out pretty good because I'm on schedule for getting that upper section bonus. Okay, pair of sixes. When you have two pair, take the higher pair, as long as it's open on the upper section. Yahtzee! Alright. It's kind of a big Yahtzee, but nice to get Yahtzee early in the game. That changes the complexion of the rest of the game, because um, now if I get a second Yahtzee, that scores 100 points. And 100 points is so good, it's worth actually taking some chances to try to get a second Yahtzee. Maybe forego rolling for a large trade if you have a chance to get a second Yahtzee. Uh, so I didn't now the probabilities encourage you to play more aggressively and that's the way I like to play anyway so it plays right into my hands uh, I like working with the Yahtzee in my pocket two three four five six that's the easiest way to get a large trade Just roll it out on the first roll I'll take it three fives okay Stand up with three fives. Well, I'm just barely staying on pace to get that upper section bonus. But I've got the large straight and the Yahtzee already. Nice. It's going to be a good scoring game. Okay, I've got pair of fives and pair of threes. Both of them are taken on the upper section. So we will be back to just taking whichever one's higher. Let's make a nice three of a kind if I can get it. Okay, didn't get the third five, but I did get the small straight right here. Two, three, four, five. That's all I need is a small straight. I already got the large. I'll take it right here on roll two. Okay, this time I got the two, three, four, five again. Uh, I just want to remind you, be on the lookout for two, three, four, five. That's the double-ended small straight. If you need a large straight, hold the two, three, four, five because it's got uh, it's open on both ends. If you can roll a one or a six, it con converts into a large straight. But I've already got both straights, small and large. So I'm just going to take this pair of fours because I need fours on the upper section and get that third four, and there it is. Alright, still on pace. Four sixes, alright. I'm going to take this on the upper section unless I get a Yahtzee. No, even if I do get a Yahtzee, I'll take it on the upper section. Nope. So I'm not going to take that on four of a kind, I'm going to take it right here, because that will get me my upper section bonus right now. I don't need six on the twos. I'll take an extra six right here, right now. 
Okay, now I don't even need to worry about twos. I don't need to worry about large straight. I'm just looking for a good three of a kind, four of a kind. If things don't work out, I'll take it on a chance. Or twos. But really what I'm looking for is that second Yahtzee. A pair of twos, okay. So right now I'm going for a Yahtzee and twos, and if it doesn't work out, I'm going to score it on the upper section. Or I don't really need anything anymore, but it's a good place to park some twos. Alright. Now hoping for fives or sixes. Alright, I didn't get any pair at all. So just take the highest die here, because that'll score better on three of a kind or chance or whatever I get here. Oh boy. Okay, sometimes you know, if chance were the only thing open here, maybe take the five and the four. Just try to increase your, your final score on chance. But because I'm going for a second Yahtzee, I'm not going to hold two of different values. I'm just going to go for all fives here. Alright, didn't work out, but that's, uh, that's a decent chance. It's 19. Really prefer to get over 20. Um, but it's not worth scratching four of a kind to try to get a slightly better chance on my next roll. So I'm just going to settle for the 19 now. Okay, sixes. That'll make a good three of a kind. If I can get a third one. Okay, didn't get a third six. I have to scratch something. The thing to scratch is the four of a kind, obviously, because uh, if on the next roll I get four of something, I can always score that on three of a kind, which is easier to get. Four of a kind I probably won't get on the next roll anyway. Scratch that. Okay, one more chance. Got sixes again, that's nice. Come on, third six. Oh, I can't believe it, didn't get a third six. So I'm scratching both three of a kind and four of a kind. And I get a slightly better than average final score because I got the Yahtzee and the large straight and the upper section bonus. So, kind of weird game where I only got. Uh, those things and not three of a kind or four of a kind. And now let's like, check to see if this was optimal. Click the Analyze button, go over to the Analyze tab, and I get one difference here. Uh, basically, over here on the right side, if you see anything like this, it means you know what you did was non-optimal, this is what the computer would have done, and this is the point difference. So when I took the small straight on the second roll, the computer said I would have held the two, three, four, five, and rolled again to try to get a small straight. Which doesn't make any sense. You can't you can't get any better than two, three, four, five. And so it says, yeah, the difference between my way and the, his way was zero point zero zero points, which is a draw. Uh, so this really wasn't a non optimal move at all. I just took it on the second roll instead of taking it on the third roll. So this was an optimal game. Zero points difference.